Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers, and I'm back today with the Green Mamba Mini Mix from Jesse Jane Speeds, and we're gonna make a pair of earrings and a really fun necklace. We're also gonna use some beads from the Pantone Leprechaun strand. The Leprechaun um, hand-dyed enamel chain. Some silver seed beads. And then um, some wire, a clasp, and some other things. We're also going to use this really pretty pendant. To get us started, I'm going to take one of the charms out of our mini mix. And I have two um, earring post blanks from the craft store. Um, you can get these at any craft store or online. And I'm going to take some E6000 and a little bit of wire. Sometimes your glue can get stopped up. And I am going to put that E6000 on the back of my earring blank. And I'm gonna turn my charm upside down and put that earring blank right here in the middle. Now you may see some glue seep around to the other side. All we're gonna do is take our little piece of wire, and this can just be leftover wire, and smooth that back over that post. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for both earrings and set those aside while we work. See, you can't really see it from the front, but you wanna make sure you finagle it to the middle. There we go. So I'm gonna set that aside while we're working. Close your glue back up. And out of the Green Mamba Mini Mix, I've set aside several beads. So I've taken out, for, and this is just showing the beads for one earring, I've taken out five of the black rectangles, um, one of the green shell beads, and four of these tiny crystals, and then I've added some silver seed beads. I'm gonna grab a head pin and I'm gonna load on a seed bead, a black bead, and then another seed bead. And I'm gonna make a dangle. I'm gonna take some um, round nose pliers that have a smaller um, end smaller round mandrels than my normal pliers because we're gonna be doing some pretty detailed work with some tiny wire today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a loop for there and set that aside. I'm gonna take um, a snippet of my 24 gauge wire. We're probably gonna to have to snip a couple pieces off, but I don't wanna work with too much at one time. And I'm gonna make a loop. So this is where our smaller mandrels come in. I'm gonna take a tight, make a tiny loop, connect that onto our dangle, and then wrap it closed. And then I'm gonna snip that. And then I'm gonna take a um, silver seed bead, one of our tiny crystals, and then another silver seed bead, and I'm gonna wire wrap that into a loop. And then I'll do that again. And this time I will repeat my um, pattern of the black or the silver seed bead, the black bead, and then another silver seed bead. I'm gonna do that. So this strand has three black beads and two crystal beads. And then I'll do another strand that just has two black beads and two crystal beads.
so now we have our two little dangles and I've gotten out my Monstera charm again and we're going to take our green shell piece from the green mamba mix and um, I have a little piece of my leftover head pin from creating these dangles here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and slip that through and bend each side at a 90 degree angle. This side's a little bit longer than the other so I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to create a simple loop on either side. I'm going to open up one side. And then I'm going to slip on my two dangles. Close that back up. I'm going to open up the other side. Slip on my Monstera. And close it up. And then I'm just going to find an earring back. And there we go. Our cute jungle-inspired little earrings it's twin so we have a very dangly pair that is pretty much going to match uh, everything because it's black and clear with a little pop of green all right so we're going to make a matching necklace the pendant for the necklace is this beautiful soldered pendant Isn't that gorgeous and then we're going to use the hand dyed enamel chain for this necklace we're going to beat up one side we're going to use beads up of one side and then chain on the other so I'm just going to lay out my design just like this. Um, I'm also going to use a toggle clasp. So we're going to hang our um, really pretty pendant from the clasp itself and uh, the chain is going to connect to the other side. Our beaded portion is going to uh, connect onto our clasp here. And then I just chose some beads from the Leprechaun Pantone strand and Green Bomb Mamba Mix. These six beads are from the Leprechaun strand and then these beads are from the Mamba Mix. And I'm just gonna lay them out in a nice pattern. And I might insert some silver seed beads between but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna lay out my pattern start with this nice stone bead and then put in a darker crystal um, one of these etched glass rounds and then my black crystal then I'm going to put in one of these beautiful coins a black bead another etched bead and then this beautiful AB crystal from the Mamba mix. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern one more time in reverse so now our pattern looks like this. I'm going to take some 19 strand bead stringing wire from Bead Alon, and I am going to string my beads on and here's where I'm going to test if I want um, the seed beads on there. So I'm just going to pick one up, put one on, and then see if we like using these as spacers. I like how they look at spacers because there is a bunch of silver between each piece of green on the enamel chain and I think that kind of um, mirrors it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to string everything and I'll be right back. Now that I've strung my entire um, bit of beads onto my wire, I'm going to go ahead and put a strong jump ring onto my chain so we can um, crimp onto it. I'm going to slip that in our existing jump ring here. I'm going to slip on a crimp bead onto my beading wire. Bring that through our jump ring and then back down through our crimp bead. I'll 
take my crimping pliers. Make sure that those aren't crossed. And do a crimp. If you'd like, you can put a crimp cover over that, but it kind of looks just like these seed beads, so I don't think I need one for this project. And then I'm just going to snip up against that crimp bead because our wire won't fit through twice through our seed beads. There we go. I'm gonna slide everything down. Then I'm gonna another jump ring and attach it to the um, loop part of our toggle clasp. Close that up. And then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat that same process and crimp onto that jump ring. So I'm going to make sure that there's enough slack in the beaded wire so that it's not completely straight line. Pull that taut. And you can, um, if you're using a um, crimp cover here, you can absolutely flat crimp. We'll just snip our excess wire. Okay, and then I have a third jump ring that I'm going to attach my pendant to the toggle with. You can absolutely wire wrap another beautiful bead if you want to but I think we'll do the easy transition here and let the pendant speak for itself. Here we go. Just like that. And then we have one more thing to do and that's attach our toggle to our chain and I'm just gonna use my last jump ring. Close that up. This is how it closes. So it hangs like that down the front of your neck. We have a beautiful asymmetrical beaded necklace with a stunning crystal. I will include better pictures at the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in today to watch me make the necklace and our gorgeous pair of earrings. Thank you to Jesse James Beats for having me back. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.